Hi all, Craig and Latte here. It's that time again where I bring you my tips, facts, or experience that you may or may not find helpful. If you're new to the trading post, let's look at what to do. First up, there are two waves of Trader's Tender, the currency used here, with 1,000 total that you can earn each month. Unspent Tender will roll over into the next month as well. You will earn your first 500 Tender free just by logging in that month on an actively subbed account that's in good standing. The second 500 comes from a myriad of activities that you complete, found in your Adventure Journal in the Traveler's Log tab. More on this in a moment. The trading post itself is located in the Mage District of Stormwind and the Valley of Strength in Argamar. This is where you'll loot all of your currency from the nearby chest and view and purchase from the vendor. The trading post's inventory changes on the first of every month and will include a wide range of goodies both old and new. Previously retired mounts, recolors of transmog never put in game, and new items entirely are just some of the things we can see listed. Don't worry about missing out though, items that rotate out of stock will eventually rotate back in, so there's no fear of missing out. In your journal, you'll see a progress bar that wants you to collect 1000 points. This is both how you gain the other 500 traders tender, and earn that month's special reward for doing so. To get these points, you need to complete activities listed here in your journal over the course of the month. These activities have a wide range of variety for different forms of gameplay. Much of these will be things you're already doing, so if you prefer a passive approach, you can do so. There are also some more specific tasks you can do that change each month based on upcoming holidays and events. Either way, make sure to familiarize yourself with these activities on the off chance how you normally play will not earn you enough. This entire thing is also completely account-wide, meaning both progress on your points bar and progress on individual activities should count if you swap alts. Doing so could even benefit you as there are some activities that could be done easier on those alts. The 50 dungeon bosses and 30 quests are an example of this. Most current expansion quests and world quests will count for the quest activity. And current expansion dungeons of any difficulty will count for the dungeon activity. But, Legacy Quests and Legacy Dungeons will not count if you are max level. Lower level alts can help with these if you want to do those two activities specifically. Legacy Raids, however, will count for the 25 Raid Boss activity because if you notice in the tooltip, it does not have a stipulation like the 50 Dungeon Bosses one does. The Quests one doesn't specify, however, so this is why I wanted to make that clarification. Each of the activities in the Traveler's Log are categorized neatly and even trackable like quests and achievements by shift-clicking in the chosen task. Doing this can help you keep an eye on your progress. Since there is so much here available with such a wide range of activities and you only need 1000 points, you could easily complete this bar in a day or two if you preferred rather than spreading out over the full month. These activities are meant to be simple as a secondary fun thing to do to reward you just for doing what you love to do anyways. Either way, once you complete the progress bar, you will have earned your extra 500 Traders Tender and that month's special reward. Come back to the trading post and loot both of these from the nearby chest to receive them. Now with all of your currency in hand, you can buy whatever you want, but you will notice you can't afford everything, so choose wisely. You can also freeze a specific item you want for the next month so that you can save up for it. And as a reminder, any unspent trader's tender will roll over to the next month. And there we have it. If you think I've misinformation or you want to request I do a specific guide, let me know in the comments below. Even if I don't answer you, I just might add your idea to my list. As always, thank you so much for watching and remember, it's never too latte.